Hey guys, it's Heidi from YA Bibliophile, and I am here with my In My Bail mailbox. Now, um, it's 11 o'clock at night, and my sister and her three kids and her husband just left. Um, today was pretty much a day of awesome. My sister um, came over this morning, mid-morning with her three kids, and we just spent the whole day baking cookies and um, watching movies and hanging out, and it was a lot of fun, but I kind of look like a bum because... I spent the whole day <laughs> baking cookies and chasing three little kids around. But any day when you get to bake cookies and watch all three Star Wars movies, I consider that a good day. Um, my favorite cookies that I made are, I actually have Star Wars cookie cutters. So I have like Millennium Falcon and the Death Star. How fun are those, right? And there's also like TIE Fighters and X-Wings and if you don't watch Star Wars, you don't know what those are. But I thought it was really fun and my nephew thought it was really fun. So those are the Christmas cookies I decorated. And then we also made um, like some eggnog Christmas cookies and a bunch of other stuff. But it was really fun. It was a long day. My cousin Cheyenne stopped by for a bit. Yeah, and like I said, we watched all three Star Wars movies and some other stuff and played some Angry Birds. And it was just, it was just really fun to be with family. And it was awesome. And it actually topped off a really great book week. Um, I had a few things. One, when I, I was at, in my last week's in my mailbox, I showed you some of the books that I got from NCTE and Allen, and then when I got home, I did um, have a book in my mailbox from one of the people I met there. This is Unraveling Isabel, and I did not meet the author, but um, the ladies at Simon & Schuster um, sent this one. This one's coming from Simon Paul, so you can't really, the cover was glaring, sorry. Um, and I just, just started it like, I read like a chapter, not very much at all, And I, but I really, really enjoyed it. It is a contemporary um, fiction. And Elise McMahon, who actually recommended this recommended this book to me on Twitter um, before I had ever heard of it, said that it was thrilling and creepy, super sexy, and so very hilarious. Which, right, we can't go wrong with that. So anyway, Eileen Cook's Unraveling Isabel. I'm very much looking forward to reading that one. Thank you, Simon & Schuster. I appreciate that. Um, a couple other things. Oh, also when I was at NCTE and Allen, um, Girls in the Stacks had a little bit of a contest um one of the girls was there and when you took a picture of her and then tweeted it you could be get like a little prize or whatever and so I did that just because it was funny and it's funny to take like stalker-esque pictures right at least I think it is when you somewhat know that person like not for real stalker stuff but and they said they would send like a um just like a little prize so I was thinking like a bookmark or something but no Stacy sent this amazing package in it um I had to wait, I tried all week not to eat this, um, so I had to hide it for myself, but peanut brittle, and I absolutely love peanut brittle, so I was pretty excited that, I, I'm pretty impressed that I didn't even open it yet, so go me. Um, it also had The Nature of Jade by Deb Coletti, and it's signed, and this is actually my favorite of her books, so I was really excited about that, because I don't own it. I read it, I guess my copy must have been from the library, but um, yay, this is my favorite of hers, so that's awesome. And it has um, a body finder um, bracelet, and a beautiful creature's keychain which is super fun and then one of the um vampire academy slash bloodlines little bag things so that was their little surprise which i think is more than a little surprise so thank you ladies you are delightful um and i should have known that it was gonna be awesome when it was from you but um also this week in my mailbox i did um i did a couple different secret santa book exchanges um and this one is the holiday swap one and i actually just sent out on friday i sent out my gift from my secret Santa that I had and I received one from the person who had me um, and so thank you to Kathy at Book Diary. Um, she sent me um, two of the books that I had on my list. The Iron Knight by Julie Kagawa. I had um, an e-version but now I have the pretty finished pages with the or finished copy with the deckled edges and pretty boys on it so I got that one and then Awake at Dawn by CC Hunter and I did um, Born at Midnight um, I reviewed for the publisher and I really, I thought it had a lot of promise. I didn't love it. There were some things that I was just like, eh. But I could see a lot of promise in the series, so I'm really excited to read this one. Because um, towards the end of the book, it really redeemed itself for me. Like, I spent a lot of the book being like, I don't know what I think about this. But then at the end, I was like, yeah, I, I do. I do want to read more. So well done. I do want to read more. And now I have a copy. So thanks again to Kathy. Sorry, I'm talking really fast. I'm tired, and I want to clean up and go to bed. Um, and then I also, she also sent me Miss Timmons School for Girls. Um, in advance. It came out in July, but this was an advanced copy, so um, it actually sounds really interesting. I had never heard of it, um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited to read it, so thank you, Kathy. So those are that, and then I did get one more thing um, back around Halloween, it must have been. 
um, a bunch of YA authors did a creepy cake and bake where they made like they challenged each other to make like the creepiest thing they could make and there were some really totally creepy things but you could also enter to win prizes and I won a doll from Dawn Metcalf but she had hurt her hand and so it took a while to get it which is totally fine because it's free stuff right and it's really awesome because she she made she handmade it so well this is Dawn's bookmark with the cover of her book which isn't that a beautiful illuminate or luminous is the book luminous um beautiful cover I, I love the cover on that book um, so she sent me a bookmark as well as a little a cute little note and then she made me a clothes pin doll and it is I don't know if you can really tell but it is a zombie holding a cupcake I don't know if you can I don't want to hurt it but you can kind of see the the zombie-esque-ness with a little cupcake how cute is that so that will definitely add some fun decorations and it's made out of one of the old wooden wooden clothes pins so thank you very much to Dawn um I appreciate that you did that and that was really fun um the cake and bake was really fun to follow and see all the different creations that people made um I think I hope that's everything this week but it was yeah it was a good week and it was a lot of fun and I am really looking forward to getting the Christmas spirit I have all my decorations up now I have my tree and all that good stuff so hopefully I will get all my Christmas shopping done and um, I'm really excited to send out my I want another Secret Santa and that one doesn't start till the 6th so I'm really excited to send out that package because I think it'll be fun and I'm always really excited with Secret Santas to buy things and I really hope that the people who get them like what I picked out um, I know they like the books because they picked the books <laughs> but um, the other stuff and then I did I was actually able this year to get for both my Secret Santas um, a signed book so that's cool um, yeah anyway that's my week in books and it was really fun. I hope that you had a great week as well and happy holidays.